bearish divergence play out um, we have seen a minimum of a 20 percent correction swoop back to the downside here um, and start taking out these lows and um, this was a bit of a fake out bounce well probably gonna head back down to this trend line volatility increasing um, I would expect some continuation off of this guy probably gonna hit that 4236 if you had to ask me very similar to what happened over here And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. It is bright, it's early, it's Friday. Happy Friday, made it through another week in cryptocurrency land. If you're still surviving out there, well, hats off to you. Wish you a uh, blessed and highly favored rest of your weekend and trading season here. What do I wanna bring our attention to? What we've been talking about over the past couple of days um, in our analysis this, this week, a little bit of a deviation above the range, below the range. We said, look, if we get back in the range and we produce a higher low, we're looking for a shot back to the top side of the range, coming in somewhere between uh, 44 and 45,000. Um, also wanna bring our attention to where specifically the 618 is gonna be hanging out. And that's just slightly higher here at 44,145. Um, if we're on a wick basis, which is probably a little better thing to do right now as the vol you know the market is a little bit more volatile uh the next that 618 is coming in at 45,000 and we've been saying well um expecting a rejection from this region and how would we know we're wrong well you got to have an invalidation and that's a higher high above the 618 and a higher low something like that um would definitely change my opinion uh, the other way I would uh, be more confident in saying my opinion is changed. Well, more specifically, the five-day time frame. If we can flip momentum back to the upside here. Flipping momentum back to the upside. And just going to clean up this chart a little bit so you guys can see. Here we go. We got the RSI coming in with a little bit of bearish divergence. It looks like the, uh, well, multiple drive variety. No, coming back from this high all the way over here. Is that too far away is the question. This high in comparison to this high. And um, well, you know, every single time we have had that bearish divergence play out, um, we have seen a minimum of a 20% correction uh starting back from this pivot and these one two three each one of these was a 20 percent correction and could we just call this one sloppy high uh coming in a lower high from this high right here yes we could a uh, bit of a sloppy high which is confirmed and if it rolls over one more time uh, that'll be good enough to do it for me. But more specifically, if we can get that five-day momentum to flip back to the upside above 47,766, that would be a candle body closure above this pivot right here. 47, wow, it's all the way up here. 47,766. Interestingly enough, that is right at the middle of this wick, which is often where some of the traps do come in. Um, so just something to keep our eyes on. Uh, it, that brings me to my next point, the uh, high block capital. High block capital. Let's take a look at those liquidation levels and see what we got on the board here for Bitcoin more specifically. Bear with me just a second, liquidation levels while we're loading here. And at the end of the video, I guess I'll take you through a couple of trade setups I've got on my eyes here. So people have now flipped to net long. Uh, I think open interest is gotta be coming down as, uh, as, well, let's just check it out here. Open interest indicator. Boom. So looking at the Binance chart, uh, yeah, open interest, kind of in the middle of the range there. Let's look at an older price chart. Will it work? Um, I guess I'll leave that for another topic. But as open interest comes down, yeah, you would expect price to uh, come down. But open interest seems to be ticking up here on the five-day time frame. Let's look at it on the daily. 
So yeah, uh, open interest, you know, coming in a little bit higher than, uh, well, than we had back over here. So could we be gearing up for the next leg higher? Well, the daily time frame, you know, um, will flip back down below 42,300. I would say that is a pretty solid pivot for a reversal or at the beginnings of a reversal, 42,300, which is kind of this area right here. Um, let's see what the four hour says, four hour says, and we are, are we printing any bearish divergence? No, we took out these highs here, so. More like hidden bullish divergence, no. No bit of a consolidative range here, consolidative range. What else is going on here in the background? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick with that same analysis here, guys, is that um, we've reclaimed the daily range and looking for a shot to the top side of the range, whether you wanna call it um, 44 or 45,000, that's up to you. Um, and uh, really a five-day confirmation of a reversal would be a five-day closure back above this level at 47.7, or call it even, I would be willing to call it 46,000. 46,000, good enough for me on the five-day, and flip that momentum back to the upside um, would look nice. So we're probably not going to get this move for a bit. Um, we are probably not going to get the move for, for some time. And I'm getting blown up here on the phone. I'm gonna make this video on the shorter side here today. Okay, uh, let's take a run down memory lane with Mr. Ethereum here. And we did outline some major buying opportunities for Ethereum uh, as we were making these new highs saying, hey, look, where do we wanna get in? If the price does pull back, uh, to be fair, Ethereum looks more bullish than uh, Bitcoin at the moment. And, um, you know, still has the opportunity to maintain the higher highs and higher lows coming through here. So that's good. <clears throat> so what were we looking at? Ah, yes, I, I remember now. So this is the... Top of the range. So we were looking to buy anywhere in this area. Between the 0 0.5 and the 618. And uh, we outlined a few opportunities there. Needless to say, we've made it back into that zone. Um, and it's kind of higher, low or not. And I, I think my bias for Ethereum is all gonna lay on this chart right here. Um, if we do, swoop back to the downside here um, and start taking out these lows and um, this was a bit of a fake out bounce well probably gonna head back down to this trend line and may even make it all the way down to this green box which we outlined uh, some time ago so that that could put some significant pressure on ethereum's performance against bitcoin um, but the us dollar chart Looks okay for now. And I'm gonna get rid of this box and uh, bring us back to the attention here that we made a higher high and we have now produced a higher low. So what is most likely to happen? Well, uh, another higher high. Unless you wanna call that a lower high and a lower low. It's not a lower low. I'm gonna call it a higher low. I'm gonna say trend continuation until proven wrong and invalidation, any kind of a daily closure back below the pivot at 2200, probably good enough for me. Uh, as a matter of fact, momentum will flip back down to the downside. And here's another thing you can notice on the stochastic, right? If we come up here and reject, um, probably going to you know play out some downside. If we can bust on through this trend line, that'd look good for some more upside. I think it's more more apparent on the daily time frame there. Currently, the hour is flipped down. The hourly is flipped down, and we have not. So we've had a weak bounce thus far, up to the 382, right? Um, strong bounces are going to come to the 0.5 of the 618. Um, you can see that Bitcoin is leading the pack right now, 
and our 0.5618 area is going to be right there i believe let's see just check it one more time yes sir 0.5618 uh we already hit the 0.5 for bitcoin um if this is going to bounce a little bit higher which i do think there's a fairly decent chance um that yeah so you know what are we going to get over the weekend some trending price action uh, looks like the stock market's taking another leg up today. Um, and the dollar, I did want to bring our attention alongside Dixie here because I know there's a lot of gold bugs out there that are finally making their way into digital gold. They're still holding on to their gold rocks, but uh, they're starting to buy a little bit. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll bring up Mr. Mr. Linky here. Kind of some, some opinion changes on this one here. Um, Uni, Bitcoin. Okay, let's... Let's go down the list. What was I just mentioning here? ETH Bitcoin. I, I guess we'll jump on the link here. The chart of the day. The chart of the day. So breaking it out to the upside here. Um, I guess this is the uh, short-term target coming in about 1930. And that is right in line with this past prior wick. Um, after a major consolidation like this and a breakout, which seems to be present. Volatility increasing. Um, I would expect some continuation off of this guy. Probably gonna hit that 4236 if you had to ask me. Very similar to what happened over here. So, massive range. Finally get the breakout right here. And bang, it was off to the races. Uh, the range not being that long. And if you guys remember, oh, Interestingly enough, that 4236 is going to be coming in at 22 bucks off of this consolidation. Um, let's see where else if we just use the last range high. Yeah, that that does line up a little bit more nicely here. More nicely. So taking the high to the low here, and uh, we got an exact tap of that 4236, and then a nice pullback down to the green box, which we had mentioned. And it looks like uh, we're gonna have a little repeat on that. Volatility signature, you got the higher low, higher high. And uh, pretty much the way I'd be looking to trade this one is, you know, if you're, if you're, if you don't wanna chase price, cause you don't wanna do that, uh, you wanna look for the higher low. Where do the higher lows come in? Well, it depends on where this next high is, but somewhere along the 9.5 and the 618 is gonna look good for me. Um, or any kind of a retest of this high right here at 1618. Probably look at that as a buying opportunity if we do swing back down there. Um, yep, 1618, looking good for this one. And also I wanted to point out is that Link was the first mover, pretty much the first mover of the altcoins in the bull market, in my opinion, uh, you know, take that for what it's worth. Is it gonna be the first mover again? Cause um, most of the altcoins are a bit sluggish here today. Uh, we've got Ethereum, I'm sorry, Solana struggling to get back above that pivot we talked about yesterday, which was coming in here at Hundred and two ten, hundred and two ten, hundred and two ten. That was the pivot, and we got back above it. Had a nice uh, rejection, a nice long opportunity back off the golden cross there. And really, uh, as long as that purple 200 continues to hold, I guess you could be short term bullish. Um, there's that big Jupiter airdrop, uh, a lot of activity on the Solana chain right now, I believe. So um, generally you hit that 618, came back to the 382, you know, this one has been sideways and up for a very long time and uh, posturing, you know, per perhaps confirming this as a higher low here. Also look at the Soul ETH pairing, looks bullish. So Solana is outperforming Ethereum at the moment. Uh, Solana also outperforming Bitcoin uh, over the last, well, this is since January. A little bit of a different picture, actually. Solana, Soul BTC. I have to go back to that one. 
Okay, let's bring up render. What did render do? Uh, popped up to the highs, uh, sold off, popped up again, sold off, and the big question is, uh, I, I mean, the W formation looks pretty good right here for a shot, at least to the highs here at 519. Um, let's get into some of the charts that potentially have some long opportunities. Uh, Unibot here, uh, Uni... You got the uh, range high here. The call it the range low right here. And you got the 50% retracement. Boom. Came right down to the 382, bounced off it a couple of times here. Um, really, this one could get going uh, with the first target back up to 948 and the second target going to be uh, a bit deeper I just turned $140 into $1300 over the last two weeks yes it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency my name is Chris Mitchell I am the CEO of Crypt Courses and I'm bringing you this video because I'm gonna give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto, but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto trader's dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. Yep. All the way up to 12 bucks. Very similar to a long-term consolidation range for Mr. Unibot, or is it Uni, Uniswap? Uniswap, that's not Unibot. Um, another whole nother chart I think this one could get going here with a pretty easy way to manage the risk and uh, that is right below the these wicks right here so if you wanted to get in on this trade boom stop loss here and we're targeting a move up here so nice um, what is that uh, risk to board ratio eight to, eight to one and probably the first TP off of these wicks right here if we are gonna get the move if we are gonna get the move that's what I'd be looking for on this one um, taking a look at another one on the list how's that Chili's trade uh, Chili's doing Chili's baby back ribs it did bust out it did break out but I want to see what I was looking at on the hourly time frame. And it kind of looks like it's rolling over now. Link the star of the show. And another one to bring to our attention is Mr. Vitendra Tao. Um, does look like uh, a bit of a more of a rollover, almost a head and shoulders here. Maybe double head, double shoulder, but pressure's on to the downside on the hourly right now after this little consolidation here. Uh, roll bit, I'll just bring this one up because it is at the lows. Um, you know, it was as low as it's been, 14 cents. Um, I do think this one will pop up the range highs back up to at least 25 at some point and then probably on from there. Um, I haven't looked at this one in a while, but dot. Doing something very similar here. Um, you know, hit that, hit that, okay. So get it on a weekly perspective. We great regain the, we regained the green 500, the green 55. Yep, probably looking for a tag up to this zone right there. So that would be the target. Let's see if it lines up with anything. Um, no, nothing in particular there. Nothing in particular. 
particular there, but the way I'm looking at this one is very similar to what happened at Chainlink is you had a deviation below the bottom side of the range, reclaimed it, hit the top side of the range. Now we're using it as support. So we'd be look, looking along from this region right here. Wow, what happened there? What happened there? Something happened. Something happened to my chart. There we go. Trade setup right here, uh, targeting that middle wick. Yeah, I think that's that's probably fair enough right there. So note that one for your um, for your book. All right, that's it for today, guys. Hope you have a blessed and highly favored rest of your day. I will be back here soon in the next one, and we will see if Bitcoin, you know, probably plays out some sideways range action. Remember, the weekend is usually that sloppy uh, range price action. Um, oh, liquidation levels, liquidation levels. So you got people net long. So for them to swipe it down to the downside one more time, you know, range bounded over the weekend wouldn't be unheard of. I uh, will want to look at Ethereum. Liquidity hanging out there, big one, big node there. People are net short on Ethereum, so taking out their shorts one more push to the upside is, I think, the more likely thing. Um, and just curious to see what Solana says. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go, here we go. Solana, people are net short on Solana right now. So what's the most likely? They reverse it to the upside, maybe hit the range highs. There's a lot of liquidity up there. So taking out the shorts to the upside on Solana. Other than that, guys, I think I'm gonna leave you off with that. I hope you guys, again, bless and highly favored rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Take care.